didn't know where I was. I thought perhaps it had all been a dream, stopping the absolute, saving my parents. Then I realized I was in your arms. We did it. Everything's perfect. Almost, anyway. What do you mean? After everything that happened, with my parents, with Shah, I didn't think I was owed any happiness. I did things. Things that fill me with shame now. There's at least one person who doesn't want me happy. Shah. I felt the wound last night while you were meditating. Like some sadistic child de-winging a fly. She can try to twist the knife all she likes. I know I can survive her worst. Nothing she does can sour the fact that I have my family again. You're right. I can always rely on you to say the right thing. It's yeah. not an exciting life that I lead, but I'd like you to be a part of it. I doubt I'd have anything at all if it wasn't for you. Of course. I mean, that's what we chose. Good. Then seek me out when you have time. I'm hoping to find some place I can settle down and stay close to my parents. Somewhere quiet, where they can find peace and gaze at the night sky. I'll keep a spot for you. It'll be just like old times. Night orchids. You were basking beneath the silver moon after a midnight swim one night. When you notice a letter among your discarded clothes. Hmm. An invitation to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood by your side in the fight against the Absolute. You waste no time in packing and set off on the long road back to where all of your adventures together began. Astarian. Aha! They are here. God Gale. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. I didn't expect to be nervous, but seeing everyone here like this, it's strange, isn't it? I feel like I must have dreamed the last few months. Now I'm waking up back in camp with my hair smelling like wood smoke and fallen leaves stuck to my backside. <laughs> I've been checking regularly. Oh, I've noticed. Ever since I first slipped into my camp garments, I should think. Hey. I hope we won't seem terribly boring to everyone when they ask what we've been doing this past while. The cottage in the countryside. They may have been expecting something more. Well, more.
<laughs> True. They might even be jealous of the bucolic life. Perhaps every adventurer secretly pines for a little flower strewn cottage overrun with animals. Well, now. Gods, no, that sounds awful. They drag mud everywhere and eat us out of house and home. Hey. <sighs> it's fine. Already passed. Shall must have sensed I was enjoying myself. Opportunity, won't you? But I suppose I've been giving you plenty of encouragement. Let's kiss her. Why, I feel better already. I'll go take a look around, be back soon. Have fun. Just don't wear yourself out too quickly. I'm anticipating a long night ahead of us. <laughs> Clothing. Let's talk with Gear. I'll be interested to know his. Goodness. Is Faerun always so dull? <laughs> Still, at least the company was worth the trip, if not the view. Not to be overly pedantic, but they are my powers now. Uh huh. I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of divine ascension are beyond mortal comprehension, I'm afraid, but I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. Sure. First, I retrieved the crown of Carsus and reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex Netherese incantations. Then, I used it. As you know, the orb within me was the half-formed Carsite Weaver. Magic left incomplete by Carsus' self-destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. Mm-hmm. As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... Passing familiarity. Ambition. Ah. What does the God of Ambition offer to his followers? <laughs> mm, I don't recall saying that I've given up. <laughs> I can't say this much for now. Mistra is welcome to her dominion. My aims are set a little higher than offering cursory blessings to just any half-decent spellcaster. <laughs> I exist not to bestow favors on my followers, but to inspire them to seize their destinies for themselves, exactly as I did. I'm their proof. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements will flourish. Proof that with ambition, God of ambition, anything is possible. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this Galarian magic. Ao would prefer to let the cosmic dust settle from my unexpected ascension before considering my right to grant my followers such power. 
Ah, uh, I see. I'm sure it'll come around in a millennium or so. And by then, my creed will be something to reckon with. There are already several shrines in my honor scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. Mm. This is only the beginning. I thought you would be. <laughs> now, divine as my company undoubtedly is, I have an eternity to catch up with you. A luxury few others at this party possess. Don't let me deprive them of your company. Or mine, for that matter. It's not every day a newborn god shows up to the reunion. <laughs> it's quite something, isn't it? To be in the presence of the divine. Fear not. That tingling sensation is merely your body's way of alerting you to my presence. It's perfectly harmless. In small doses. Okay. Hey. Well, there he is. Gale in all his glory. I hope you're happy. The god of ambition. <laughs> Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? <laughs> Carsus himself, he and his bloody crown, and you, for that matter. The Gale I knew wasn't like this. He recognized his mistakes. He was contrite. All he wanted to do was live. Unfortunately, he fell into company that turned his gaze toward foolishness. Yes, I mean you. <laughs> As do I. As do I. I know there's nothing you could have done to stop him. Not really. Once he'd decided to learn nothing from his mistakes, <laughs> what use were either of our protests? Perhaps you'd be willing to come meet Gail's mother sometime? She misses him so. And I know it would do her heart a world of good to... Discuss her son with someone who knew him as he was. I would love to. Jolly good. I'll tell Mrs. Dakarios to be expecting you. Oh, she'll be delighted. Things just haven't been the same without himself cluttering up the place. Enjoy your party, dear. I've heard you quite deserve a celebration. Okay. <sighs> a most welcome sight. Old friend, for two months I trained the Knights of the Comet, for two more I skewered Kithraki bellies, and for two more yet I traveled through Limbo. But to see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. <laughs> Limbo, she'd said, a plane of chaos where you might drink fire like water. Where you might breathe ice instead of air. And the home of the mystical Githserai. Once the Githserai were one of the Githyanki. Until bloody civil war severed them. Ah. I do. I approach the gates of Shraktalor even now. Okay. Shraktalor. How well you know the name. The capital city of the Githserai. And the home of their immortal god king, Zareth Menyar Agith. Hmm. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Menyar Agith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Okay. Hold on, the great warrior Lazal on diplomatic mission. Exactly the reaction I expected. <laughs> My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor sharp edge. Sometimes a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. 
Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. Yeah. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. <laughs> When will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point. I missed you. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Nice. 2CC wants to be back. Thank you. This is... nice. Alright. Let me see what the Baldur's Gates Gazette says. Absolute emergency over declares face. Last elite routed from sewers. Alright. Astarian? Hello, darling. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. Mm. And you're looking more delicious than ever. If you don't mind me saying, hey. whatever you've been doing with your time, it clearly worked wonders. Love is a powerful tonic. Mm. And where better to celebrate our good fortune? An old haunt with old friends. You seem happy. What about you? What have you been up to? <laughs> Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. <laughs> he becomes... <laughs> Who could have had? <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. Do you ever miss walking in the sun? I did at first. But then I realized. These shadows. This darkness. It's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. I'm glad to hear it. That being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. Yep. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. Mm. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. Now, there's a face I know well indeed. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. <laughs> you might help me. 
me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? The hero and I, no? I, me, it's all Volo as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Nice. Nice. I must be careful to not overindulge tonight, lest I lose control and slip into bear form. <laughs> Jahira? Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. I've learned a lot since last we missed. I'm glad the months have not been wasted. Particularly as I spent them cleaning up the mess we made of the city. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Not all city can be... okay. I knew an Averescan grey cloak who would say, Baldur's Gate will be the death of me. But I can't say it doesn't hold all of life. Baldurians simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Mm. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Ooh. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her again. Hey. Yeah, what about you? Ah, there is still much to do. People to house, a Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. All right. For all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. <laughs> I must inspect the refreshments. You never know. Some ne'er do well might have tampered with the wine. Albert? Friend? Friend! You came! Big Brother Scratch, too! Happy! Yes, miss this more. Yes, big. But Scratch is smart, teaches me many things, like Big Brother. I'm glad Withers brought you here. Lots make friends with a turtle, a cat, a kraken. Kraken eats my cat friend, <laughs> so I bite, kill. With shiny clothes, I am strong. Tired now. Want sleep? Want cave? 
bear man. Hmm. He is big, but not bigger than me. I like him. I go to him. All right. <laughs> Scratch. A familiar sight. Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. <laughs> the astral prism. <laughs> I found this. It smelled like you, so I kept it. Seemed like something you might like to throw. Oh, I've been so good. I've got a nice home in the city now. A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also you and Albert. I've got so many best friends. I hardly know who to play with. Good. I certainly have. And I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. You know best. But a little fetch never hurt anyone. As far as I know. There you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? Yep. You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Forest trees draped in moss. Bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. A far cry from the rancid Avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs. <laughs> I swear, Karlak and I have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who'd have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping Avernus for good? One of them sported a map and some blueprints. If you want all the gory details, Karlak can fill you in. But get this. If those blueprints work, I could reverse engineer my stone eye. Instead of Mazora tracking me, I could track her. Ooh. It's past time for her old pet to sink in his fangs. How have you been faring without your world I of think power? the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. Have you had any time to visit your father? I've seen him more than a few times. And he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's Chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. Okay. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, He's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. Nice. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> 
You would think uh, someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. Just as nature intended. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would more like. <laughs> The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. You sound like you need a hug. I always do. Should I ever decline? Assume a doppelganger has taken my place. All right. Hmm. That was more than worth the wait. Can't that say was that. more than worth the wait? Oh, I suppose you didn't mean that literally. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In that case, very well. Yeah, what have we been doing? Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. In a manner of speaking, yes. Though it is a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated, true balance is no simple, fixed thing. Hmm. I see that now. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie, I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see, my charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halson. Another <laughs> is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Let me see what I have. I am all ears. Though, I never cared for that phrase. A rather... unsettling image. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. <laughs> now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Tell me about Daniel and Oliver. <laughs> Quite often. 
They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. Hmm. What of the grow? Do you stay On in touch? occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Nice. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? <laughs> oh, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. I see. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. Oh, really? Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. <laughs> Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Hmm. Lovely, thank you. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. Vital duck. Nice. Alec? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. With us, you mad bastard! You brought me back! <laughs> Really, you? Oh, I've missed you, man. Like, I've really missed you. And you're so... Clean! <laughs> I missed you, too. Yeah, I should have gone with you, man. No. Believe me, you shouldn't have. That place is fucking horrible. I wouldn't wish it on you. On anyone. But look, you showed me just how much my life is worth. That there are people out there who really value it. I can hang on in the hells a while longer. Oh, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Ernest. Mm. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier.
Can I get a... Can I have a hug? Every time. Next playthrough, Karlak. Next playthrough. I promise. <laughs> I won't be in Avernus forever, you know. Can I look you up when I'm out? Hey! That would be kind of fun, though. High stakes hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. <laughs> Gods, is it good to see you again. To be here, together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. Boo! We are not dreaming. It is our old friend. <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, and it is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. <laughs> we were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. You were in a cell? What for? Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets while Jahira is occupied with Harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly. So Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> uh, execution, says Boo, <laughs> though I, I am not sure of the difference. <laughs> it is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? <laughs> uh. <laughs> In ample time indeed. So long as the bone mage returns us to our cell by dawn, who would not be late to the bloodshed. But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration and the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? Aha, the lovebirds still nest together then? <laughs> Minsk is glad. For what is life without a companion? Though I am thinking yours does not sit on your shoulders, eh? Ah, you are right, Boo. <laughs> that is uh, none of Minsk's business. <laughs> there is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, Boo. Though I see no soap, so you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. Who is this guy? Millie? Oh, hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. Suppose I'll get back to it then. Come now, out with it. It would be a shame to leave a party like this bereft of music too long. How do you know we there? <laughs> I owe him a favor, one he is eternally invoking. <laughs> I thought honoring the worthy was a fair price to pay for Withers to pull me out of the fugue plane. <sighs> Alas, one purgatory to another. What were we doing in the fugue plane? Languishing in obscurity. Sirik knew what he was doing when he punished me for that song, the prick. 
Before I was banished to the fugue plane, I had song prayers coming out the proverbial ears. Guess how many I get now? None. I'm washed up, I'm afraid. You... You know? <laughs> You're bloody right! It is an honor! Finally! The scribe picks an adventurer of substance, of <laughs> culture! What can I do you for? Change the song. Your wish please. is my etc. What song do you want? Yeah, something lively, please. Fantastic idea. It'll suit the whole affair perfectly. A beautiful night. I wish it could last forever. Nice. With us? Yes. I think I caught up with everyone. What comes what next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. <laughs> thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, Problems worth solving. <laughs> Greatest friends. To you.
I think these are the These are the words from the staff, I guess, right? Bulgarian babies. <laughs> there thou art, the dead three. Thy face is gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. Hmm. He seems like another god, I guess. 